Hey guys, Homer 211 here, and in today's video, we're just going to be covering how to get the fourth horseman if you didn't know how to already, and also the quickest ways I found to complete the quest, as well as some crucible gameplay and just me playing around with the gun a bit in the crucible uh, towards the end of the video. So, yeah, to start the quest, you just go and speak to Zavala, and he'll give you the first quest step, which is to go and find the vault and get into the vault within his office. Now, if you don't know how to get to the office or how to get into the vault, now I'm going to have the locations um, and the pathway in the video right now, so I'll just let you watch that. Okay, so now that you've made it through the little secret passageway and into the vault, uh, you will now have to go back to Zavala and speak to him again, and he will give you the next step in the quest, which is just simply to go and speak to Anna Bray on Mars. So once you get to speak to Anna, she will give you the uh, quest step after that, as you can see here, where all you have to do is kill Cabal, on Mars and also complete public events on Mars. Now the cool thing about this step is actually that escalation protocol, one wave counts as like a public event um, which is really cool so you can actually get that done quite quickly if you just do public um, if you just do escalation protocol waves. As you can see just from these sort of cabal being killed here I only got 1% which obviously doesn't seem like a lot it seemed like it would take a while but the escalation waves actually give you 10% so that's quite beneficial obviously because completing one entire run through of escalation would technically give you 70% so that's quite a lot considering you may see Cabal along the way and kill them and then that 1% starts to rack up but yeah so just keep playing escalation just complete the waves and you get that done in no time just like I did then after that you want to go and visit Anna again and she will give you the next quest step which is to kill scions and also open cabal chests which is just you're naturally generally spawning in the open world chest but cabal themed so yeah so for the scion kills I just went to this lost sector over here and I am not even going to try and pronounce that name but yeah, so if you kill one Scion, that gives you about 2%, and then every time you open a chest, that gives you about 10%. So obviously chests give you a lot more than killing Scions, however the chests are obviously quite rare. So what I recommend is you go in, clear the Lost Sector out, get all your percentage from the Scions, come back out, loot up all the Cabal chests, and then yeah. So after you've done that bit, then you go back to the tower and you need to speak to Benedict um, and he will give you the next quest step which is to go to the EDZ and you need to kill combatants so that's any type of enemy um, also complete patrols and also just complete public events as well uh, so the quickest way I recommend this is to start a patrol and also complete a public event alongside because a patrol will give you about 5% and a public event will give you about 10%. Now, I only ever did the heroic public event, so I don't know what they will give you if it's not heroic. But yeah, so just do that over and over again and you'll get that done in no time. It doesn't take that long if you do both at the same time. But yeah, after that, you'll be given the next quest step, which is to go back to Benedict. And then he will basically give you the quest step to go and clear out the legendary lost sector in the quarry now if you like me you thought obviously it's time gated and I didn't even know until today that you could still complete this but 
they've changed the lost sector now to the quarry so yesterday if you didn't know you could have completed it and it will be the lost sector again for today so you still have that chance to complete it so yeah you just want to get in and do that lost sector and all I did was just play through with a random team on the uh, fire team finder on bungee.net or the app so yeah and just clear it out and open this chest and boom you get the fourth horseman that is quest complete and it didn't take that long realistically so now we're going to cut to past me to now talk about crucible okay so we're just going to give the fourth horseman a test in crucible now that we've got it Damn it. It's one of those guns where you really have to get into like 1v1 type situations, otherwise you're gonna like kill them. You're now out of ammo. Definitely need more ammo in this gun to start off with. What? Did you see that delay? It shot him and meleeed him. And then died. That's mad. Right there. All right then. Fuck. 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 Really wish they had a bit more range on this gun. Nevertheless, oh fuck, all right. Alrighty, we're just going to go around that. Did I really miss that or did someone else get it? Okay, we've got four shots. It's quite good. I can see this being quite good in trials to be honest. Whoa, what the fuck? Did you see that? He disappeared. What the fuck? My man was a ghost. He just vanished. I don't know what happened there. I cannot explain. Hello! Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. <laughs> I've been very confused and very scared. I don't. I, I had no chance. I'm trying to use... Oh, no, I can't use that in the mind. Um... Oh, brilliant. <laughs> give me that, give me that, give me, give me, give me, give me. Fuck me. I'm like getting a kill and then instantly fucking dying afterwards it's 
why I hate these types of game modes, because it's so fucking hectic like that. Oh wow, I mean we got one, I guess that's all that matters at the end of the day. At least one person everywhere, and that's why I don't like these game modes. I always play like the 4v4 or the um, 3v3 because I can't stand the big ones like this. Oh, we got we got 22, not bad at all there. Okay, so that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and make sure to hit the like button and also drop a comment on what you thought on the video and also leave any suggestions for any other games that you'd like to see me play as if I end up playing them I will feature your comment in that video but yeah apart from that hit the subscribe button so you never miss another video and I will catch you all in the next video see ya